he'll let it bounce. A few backfield, three receivers stacked off to the left. They get to C.J. Baxter, the true freshman back who was knocked out last week with an injury, but back 100% makes a quick impact. Receivers stacked to the right now. They don't pressure yours. He's got some space. Can he get there with his legs? Yes. Scrambles and dives. That's the new athleticism. You lose about 20 pounds. We're going to hand it off to Brooks. He plows across the right side and picks up a few, but is well short. No Bama quarterback had ever done that in a game. He ended up the middle again, and McClellan moves the chains. They rotate a number of guys to stay fresh in the inside. Two back look, Rodell Williams joining well, and they flip it instead of the edge and that's McClellan showing his versatility and first down Milrow eludes pressure shows the speed has space and is going to scoop for about 13 and a first down he is so dangerous of this offense gets it out quickly but makes a pick it's intercepted today Barron makes the kind of takeaway Texas needed and the kind of mistake that Saban was worried about with the inexperienced quarterback. Just didn't see it. Yeah, and we talked about the command of the offense. It's one thing to have command of the offense. It's another thing to be able to read and recognize coverage. Great job of kind of baiting this throw. I think he's anticipating. That's worthy in motion. And they're running to the right again. Trying to physically challenge this Alabama front. It's right near the marker. Viewers on the move. Flips it short, catch made, first down converted. That Sanders knocked out of the five. Viewers, long throw to the end zone, off the hands of Xavier Worthy, who had a touchdown. It was a beautiful throw. Burt Auburn, who is a solid kicker, kicked what could have been the game winner if Bryce Young hadn't driven Alabama down the field for the walk-off field goal at first pick, though. He's got a keeper on the edge, makes a nice cut. And, ooh, is very close to break even. Shoestring tackle. Hands it off McClellan. So McClellan bangs forward. Still running. He's running hard tonight into Texas territory at the 49. They come after Milrow. Gets it out. And the catch is made. Going up and grabbing it is Malik Benson. Rotate some fresh bodies on this field. And Bama running some tempo here. McClellan has a crease. And he's going to be knocked down, but not before they move the chains again. I'd love to atone tonight. Nice play there. Milrow backpedaling and flips it at the last minute. Incomplete. This is from 42 to tie the score. Yeah, he gets it up very quickly. <laughs> and hits it at the top of the net from 43. No fun for opposing offenses. A rush for Ewers has time, flips it, completes it, and a first down. Jordan Winnington made the catch, absorbed a hit, and moves the six. And Worthy, it's a backwards pass. He can throw it, launching downfield. Contested balls are a flag. Yes. Pass interference. Defense number three. So Texas back in Bama territory. Ewers from the pocket. Now he'll loft one downfield. A ton of air running underneath it. Worthy's got it for a touchdown. The deep shot this offense has been seeking desperately. They strike from 44. What a throw by Ewers and a great read. He's looking right here to read the safety key. And if he bites up on this underneath route, he's going to take a shot. You can see how he feels. Okay, I got him where I want him. Let's put it up in the air, one on one against the freshman. And he goes to one of the top receivers in the country, Worthy. Moreau scrambling, thinking about running. Now flips it over the middle. And it's. Caught at the 40 in heavy traffic, Jermaine Burton. And they do bring some pressure. And they'll get him back at the 32. He was looking that direction. Hit as he throws, but it's complete across the middle. And it is big Jatavian Sanders making an impact here in the first half. There in the middle. Playing quickly. Worthy on the edge. Has a couple blocks. Stutter step. 
Burst through a crease. They are moving the sticks in a hurry inside the 40. To the right of viewers on this third and four. Different look. They fling it to him. Creative ways to get number one the ball. Who bounces off two men. Gets a first down to the 22. See Bama gets lined up. Couldn't get fresh bodies in there, could they? Because of that tempo. Baxter just powers and muscles for another first down to the 13. Pressure. Ewers escapes. Makes a move and will stumble forward. Will be stopped at the 10. 22 earlier, this from 29. And he is still perfect in the night. So Texas, a grinding 14 play, 82 yard drive. Okay, 4.05 before halftime. Can Nilro get something going with the pass game? Instead, he takes off quickly. This is what he does best makes a cut and quickly sprints for 20 yards. And walk up some pressure, show it, and then bail. Milro sets up, scanning, thinks about taking off and will be knocked down well short of the marker. Fake it, and a high throw worthy couldn't come out, so that one just got out of the hands of viewers. Short and intermediate. Across the middle, catch made. Prentice still loose. Kobe Prentice will be dragged down, but a huge play down to the 31. To locate the football. 28 yards on third and eight. Milrow escapes again. Man completely open is Prentice. They've forgotten about him. Whoop, makes a man miss. Milrow feels the pressure again, escapes it, tucks the ball. Now thinks about throwing to the end zone, tipped and caught in the care for a touchdown. Jermaine Burton off the deflection. There is a flag down. Lineman downfield. Yeah, I mean, what a what a push, by the way, by Brout right there. Somehow he fights out of it, keeps his speed alive. There's Sorrell diving, makes the throw, offensive lineman downfield. He gets away with one. Jalen Ford should have come up with an interception. Still in field goal range, but that's what they do here, trying to get a little bit closer. They launch for the end zone. No row again on the move, taking off a long way to run. Scoots out with five seconds to go. It still was his best drive as a passer. He's four for his first four. They move it 50 yards in seven plays, and Reichert, ultra reliable, cuts it to a seven point lead at halftime. No row from the pocket, launches downfield, looking for Bond, and Isaiah Bond makes a diving catch. He does throw the deep ball well. It's the best thing he does as a thrower. Or against the Texas defense a year ago, the 81-yard touchdown on Austin. Milro chased. Flag is out as he scrambles and now flips the ball. Does he be on the line of scrimmage? The catch is made by Burton. There's a lot going on. He's going to score. But let's see. There was a flag way back in the holding zone. The flag came out early. I thought he might have crossed the line holding of scrimmage. Order. Offense, number 74. Showing pressure up front. They don't bring it. They're only a three-man rush. And Milrow still has to escape the pocket. He's going to be dragged down. So they drop eight in coverage. Gets it up. <laughs> My goodness. Hammers it through from 51. Four-man rush. Ewers steps up. Flips it away. It's just over the head of Whittington, who had some space. Low snap, Milrow scoops it up, launches downfield, and they had McClellan out of the backfield wide open. For you were to take care of the football down here. They're going to throw it on first down. They launch it one-on-one, -on -one. going up to make the catches. Adonai Mitchell throws the football up in the air and over top of the corner. Great job. Goes at their best DV. Yours. Oh, they stuck a man wide open, and it's Sanders. Eludes a man. Oh, just stumbled down. Pressure picked up. Worthy goes up in the end zone and could not come up with it. Bert Auburn tries to stay perfect on the night. It's hooking and he missed it. Pocket collapse. Oh, and they've got him. Anthony Hill Jr. that speedy fresh for making an impact tonight and a huge stop for Texas. 
And they're going to try to sneak it with a push. The ball actually goes to Brooks. He, he juggled it, held on, and they moved the sticks. You, you got Brooks who looks down, and he, but he never had it. Never had the football. Going to discuss whether he was down before the ball. How can loose. you be down when he didn't have it? He didn't have the, the ball. Head coach putting it on the line. And Brooks fighting. I don't think he got there. Dallas Turner wrapped him up. Milrow escaping the pocket, tries to get there with his legs, and he does scamper for a first down in Texas territory. Milrow again has to elude pressure, launches downfield, and it's caught for a touchdown by Jermaine Burton. They waited three quarters finally for this Alabama pass game to really come to life. 49 yard strike from Milrow to Burton, and Bama has its first lead. Ewers, he takes a downfield shot, and ball falls to the ground. There's a flag. And like I said, it's been an up and down night for Terry and Arnold. Pass interference on the defense, number three. For Alabama. Ewers still has it and finds his tight end. Sanders, big man, rumbling free, gets a block. Stiff arm, lowers the shoulder. What a run after the catch for this athletic tight end from Texas. Play fake, Ewers, slant, touchdown, Mitchell. What a response by Texas. Bama scores the first touchdown of the night. Texas trails for the first time. Three plays, 75 yards. How do you do to reclaim the lead? Caleb Downs, the freshman, who's going to be a superstar. He has his eyes in the backfield. What I love here is watch Ewers wait for the right time. Let him clear the freshman, and he throws it right behind him for that touchdown. There's some streaks on the line here. Bama hasn't lost at home since. Joe Burrow, the Bayou Bengals, came in here in 2019. On display tonight, battling in year three. Bill Rowe delivers right into the hands of a Longhorn. Intercepted by Jared Thompson, his second mistake. He steps out inside the 10. That is a disastrous play for Milrow, his second pick tonight. Worthy in motion. Brooks fights to the end zone in Texas. Quickly cashes in to build the lead. What an incredible turnaround in the last few plays. Milrow tonight, they pressured him a whole bunch of times. Another low snap, which he has to collect and fire over the middle. And this time the catch is made by Benson. Malik Benson with a big catch, desperately needed. Of that Texas defense. 27 on third and 17. Milrow looking to throw again. Checks it down, and that's Prentice. Very serious of being a leader. Another low snap. Milrow scoops it up, has time, and delivers over the middle. And the catch is made by Nyblack, and he's getting to the end zone. Somehow eludes tacklers in Alabama. Not done yet. A quick strike. Not the finest moment for Texas defense tonight. Let's go back to the fact that his ball's on the ground again. I mean, he loses it. You're thinking, oh, no, what's going to happen? Composure, eyes downfield, and again into the teeth of that Texas defense to the tight end, Nye Black, who's an athletic, tough matchup type of tight end. Milrow scanning, and he just flips it up into the air, and the catch is made, and the conversion is good. It's Isaiah Bond. Three-point game now. Empty backfield against the three-man rush. Ewers throws across the middle and has Jordan Whittington, and he's still going. Whittington breaking tackles and diving down into Alabama territory. With that in mind. Ewers over 300 yards on the left side. Baxter plows forward. And it's really showing tonight. Ewers from the pocket, launching downfield. Mitchell! Touchdown, Texas! Aggression and execution 
39 yards. He's reading this safety. Downs. And he's got receivers underneath the impact the safety so he knows again we saw this earlier on the left side this time they go to the right creates a one on one matchup unrealistic expectations. Milrow drifting back and now just steps right into the pass rush of young Anthony Hill. Welcome to college football. This guy's going to be a nightmare for Texas opponents to get off the field here and not let Texas move the chains and chew the clock but they do that first down Jonathan Brooks drag Blackshear tick 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 Texas or not well they hand it off and pick up the first down and perhaps in the game Brooks with a burst and the Texas offensive line meanwhile it's third and seven Will they run it again yes it's Brooks and this time to be dragged down a couple of yards short and start kneeling down Alabama there you go. jumped there. It's kind of and fitting. That's a fitting ending right there. Sark knows that's it. That is going to do it. Wow. Offside on the defense, number 17. Went into the neutral zone, causing a reaction by the offense. That's a five yard result and a first down. Texas is. 2-0. Oh. Not going to see anything more than that. But they look like a contender tonight.